What's going on, everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203, bringing you the skeleton. Our Halloween extravaganza continues following the werewolf with a skeleton. This is a simple, quick one uh, from Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures. Not a whole lot to it, um, but we are going to do what we can with this bony, what used to be like a former soldier. So... Quick hitter here, but before we get started, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I'm putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. Welcome back, those of you who have subscribed to the channel. Welcome in, those of you who are new. And let's get started. We're gonna start here with pretty much an all over dry brush of Morn Fang Brown, just to really establish this base coat on the bones and also on the rusted armor. Adding some bone white to the Mornfang brown so that it's roughly 75% Mornfang. We are going to be applying some of the first highlights to the bony areas. Now gonna be stippling some heavy brown over that layer of dry brushed Morn Fang to make the armor appear like it is old and rusted. Now with about a 50-50 mix of Mornfang Brown and Bone White, we'll be applying some more highlights to the bony areas, only in the most raised areas. Now with some olive green, I'll be giving his shorts a base coat here. Now with the side of my brush, I'm gonna be running some heavy blue-gray over the spikes of his pauldrons. Now with the final mix of 75-25 bone white to Mornfang Brown, I'll be applying the max highlights to the bones. Adding some sepia wash to the shorts to make them appear dirty and soiled. Now with a 50-50 mix of desert yellow and olive green, I'm gonna be running the brush over the uppermost folds of the fabric. And finally, with some pure desert yellow, I'll be doing the same exact thing, only to the uppermost raised areas of the fabric. Applying a highlight of heavy brown to the more raised areas of the boots.
Mornfang Brown as a base coat on the sword. Some heavy blue gray for the edge. Now adding some bone white to the heavy blue gray to give the edge a sharpish glint. Stippling some olive green over the flat of the blade to give it a rusted appearance. Base the hilt in Mornfang Brown. Add some desert yellow to the mix and apply that to the crevices in the blade. Basing the base in heavy blue gray. Once that's dry, going to apply some black wash. And finishing it off with a dry brush of stonewall gray. And that'll wrap it up for the skeleton. Thank you for watching. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video.